some color in here hold on there we go hey guys it's Gianna welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here so today I have more of like a sit down chill type of video if the camera is shaky in this I'm sorry you're kind of just like propped up on like a yearbook and some sheets and stuff because I didn't feel like setting up the whole filming spot and getting ready so I've been stuck on what to upload so I asked you guys on my Instagram go follow what I should post these next few free time weeks that I have of summer and someone, I don't remember who, I'll put it up on the screen, but they requested or said that I should do a summer playlist or an updated playlist and I was like, hmm, I've never done uh, one of those videos before. I feel like it's going to be like awkward. I just like play the songs, try not to get copyrighted. I hope you guys like my taste in music. I don't really know. There's a bunch of different genres. I've been sitting home all day, so I was like, I'm just going to be productive and film and upload a video. So I don't really have a summer playlist. I kind of just have, like, a playlist that I usually play when I'm, like, in the shower or when I'm, I don't know, just chilling, you know, cleaning my room. I have a bunch of different playlists on Spotify that I have made in the past, but my current one is called G's Playlist. So original, right? I'll link it in the description box down below so you guys, if you end up liking it, you can go listen to it while you're in the shower. Okay, that was weird. Um, that's everything for this intro, so let's just begin, and hopefully I don't regret doing this video. Okay, let's play the first song. Okay, that's the first song, If I Can't Have You by Shawn Mendes. I was like, that was my favorite song for the longest time when it first came out, which was like a month ago or so. Anyways, um, still love that song to this day. I'm really trying not to get copyrighted, but um, next song. That is Moonlight by, I don't know how to say that. It'll be on the screen. Um, one of my friends got me into this song. That's all I have to say about it. Okay, that song was also my favorite song for the longest time, hence why it's my intro song. I was kind of like feeling that song. That's Who Do You Love by The Chainsmokers in Five Seconds of Summer. I still love that song, obviously, because it's on my playlist. Next song. That's Hold On by Court Overstreet. Um, that's like my go-to sad song when, you know, we're feeling a little sad. Um, Mackenzie and I listened to that song maybe like eight times before cheer tryouts and we're just, you know, letting all of the emotions out and just that song is very near and dear to my heart and will always be. You will hate myself. Okay, next song. That is... That song is All the Kids Are Depressed by Jeremy Zucker. Um, I feel like that's just a very relatable teenage um, high school song. My mom's home and my window's open. That's fun. So if my sister's loud in the next few clips, sorry about that. Okay. Is That Has Come Through by Jeremy Zucker. It was also one of my favorite songs throughout the past year. It's been on every single one of my playlists. But, um... Again, I don't know. I really like that song. It has like a good what's melody rhythm to it, I guess. Um, don't quote me on that one, but Did you eat all the bread today? What bread? All of the um pound cake. I don't know where it went. She just accused me of eating all the pound cake. Anyways, that song was Eight Letters. The preview part didn't really have any words, but Eight Letters by Why Don't We. I really like that song. It's a great song. Count how many times I say song in this video, because I guarantee you it's a lot. Next song. Okay, 
Okay, that is When You Love Someone by James T.W. Again, that's a really sad song that I like to listen to when the vibe just isn't the greatest. Okay, um, that's Taking the Long Way Home by Neon Feather and David Dunn. I really like the beat drop or the chorus of that song. It's really catchy. I don't really know why that's on my playlist because it's not like like all the other songs on my playlist, but it's still a great song and it's very positive, you know? So, yeah. I love that song. That's another la another sad love song. Oh my gosh, this is Another sad love song by Khalid. That's a great song, you guys. I feel like it's an oldie but a goodie. Not like an oldie, but like it was popular back in back in 2018. Um, I still listen to it. Still jam to that song. I don't wanna say it, but somebody's gotta say that it's over. That's closure by Haley Warner. Um. That's kind of more of a sad song as well. This video is so awkward. Like, we're not even halfway done. But you requested it, so, um, yeah, I like that song. Always, always. That's Backing Down by Isaac Danielson. Nothing really to say about that song. I haven't heard that one in a while, but, yeah. <laughs> That's so close. NOTD and like a bunch of other names right there that I don't really want to say them all but um I was obsessed with that song because I heard it somewhere I don't know and then I added it to my playlist and it's really catchy and I like to jam out to that when ever Issues by Julia Michaels I'm pretty sure that everyone and their mother has heard this song and listens to this song um yeah it's it's a nice song. That's I Don't Care with Justin Bieber by Ed Sheeran. And Justin Bieber, that's like the it song right now. I feel a lot of people are listening to that, so I just had to add it. But I feel like it's on the radio every two seconds. Um, and I'm probably going to get sick of it soon. But it's a great song. <laughs> Let Me Go with Alesso, FGL, and Haley Steinfeld, a bunch of other people, but um, I feel like that's also an it song right now. It's really good, and I don't know. I love Florida Georgia Line, and I always will. I want to go to one of their concerts, but that's besides the point. Good song. That's Talk by Khalid. Mackenzie got me into this song, and we used to listen to it in jewelry, so... Um, it's kind of like, plays too much, so I'm kind of getting sick of it, but she's making chicken noises. It's, it's Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. I don't know how you say that. Um, I'm not really familiar with that song, but it's a good one. I don't know love no more. That's I Don't Know Love by Jeremy Zucker. I feel like he always has, like, interesting sounds, like, xylophones and, like, different things like that in his music. And he's one of my favorite artists. Um, he writes really good music, so I like that song. This Feeling by The Chainsmokers and Kelsey Ballerini. I love The Chainsmokers. I love Kelsey Ballerini. My family and I had this, like, CD. It was, like... Just Kelsey Ballerini, we used to listen to that every single day in the car for about a year until the CD finally broke in half. That's an awesome song. This feeling, I haven't listened to that a lot, so we're not sick of it yet, but I still love it. Every single person on the earth that eats, sleeps, and breathes knows this song. When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish. She's like the most popular artist right now. So if you don't know some of the songs that are on here that are written by her. I have no idea why this song is on here. It is Don't Give Up On Me from Five Feet Apart by Andy Grammer. Grammer? I don't know how you say that. Um, It's a very touching song. I watched that movie twice in theaters. Um, It's an awesome movie. If you haven't seen it should definitely watch it when it comes out on Netflix or whatever. Um, it's a great movie. I don't know why the song's on here, though. Blue, hey, 
That's kind of one of my favorite songs at the moment. Hey Look Ma, I Made It by Panic! at the Disco. In our high school, it played at, like, the rewind video that our production team made for the end of the year like assembly thing and that was the song for it and ever since i've just loved that song and i listen to it all the time in the car wherever i'm going this video is 12 minutes long we should hurry this up but yeah great song you. you are the reason by callum scott i recently added this one to my playlist so i don't know every word yet but we'll get there I'm the bad guy. Duh. That's Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, one of the ones that's on the top charts right now, I'm assuming. Again, if you don't know that song, something is wrong. I love that song. We could be more than just part -time lovers. That's SOS featuring Aloe Black by Avisi and Aloe Black. I don't know how you say any of those words, but yeah, I really like that song as well. <laughs> Bellyache by Billie Eilish. No words to explain this song. That's Wow by Post Malone. Again, that song still to this day plays on the radio every single day. Um, so I think a lot of people know every single word to that. So. Get You to the Moon featuring Snow by... Kina and Snow. Um, I recently added that one like a few days ago, so I haven't really gotten a chance to listen to it, but it's still a great song, and we made it through all like 30 songs on my playlist. So that is my very long requested summer playlist video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to become a part of the Mac Pack. Our goal right now is 10,000 subscribers. Thank you to all my supporters. I just wanted to give you guys a huge thank you because. I love you all so much, so thank you to whoever requested this video for requesting it. That playlist will be linked in the description box down below if you guys wanted to check it out and if you enjoyed it. And that is all I have for you guys today, so I will hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.